Harmonize ameamua kumjibu Rayvanny baada ya Rayvanny kumataka Harmonize kutokana na kile ambacho Harmonize alikiandika. Kama ilikupita ama ufahamu imeanzia wapi? Harmonize leo aliandika kwenye page yake ya Instagram. Eh, kwenye Insta story tu akisema kwamba wasanii wapunguze kuimba nyimbo ambazo zinahusu masuala ya pombe kwa sababu pia huu ni mwezi Januari ni kama zinawakumbusha watu machungu. Kwa hiyo ni bora wakatafuta idea nyingine na sio kuimba masuala ya pombe. Akatolea mfano mziki wa ama piano ambao asilimia kubwa kwa mujibu wa kile ambacho amekiandika Harmonize wasanii wa Tanzania wamekuwa wakiufanya kuimbia masuala ya pombe yani mashairi yao asilimia kubwa ni yanayohusu pombe sasa akasema ni muda wa kutafuta ideas nyingine sasa baada ya kuandika hivyo Rayvanny akaamua kumjibu Harmonize kwenye page yake ya Instagram kupitia Insta story akaandika kwamba wewe hauna hit song hata moja ya pombe so uwezi ukaelewa ama unaongea nini kuhusu mawe ya pombe ka kimia sasa Harmonize amekuja kwenye page yake ya Instagram na ameandika vitu kadhaa hapa. Tutakusomea tu kwenye Insta story yake na hii ina muda mfupi sana. Kwanza ni toe angalizo. Sitaziweka hizi screenshot hapa kwa sababu ya maneno ambayo ameandika. Wametumia matusi sana humo ndani. Kwa hiyo nitakusomea tu kitaka kujionea yapo huko kwenye page zao kwenye Insta stories. Ameanza kwa kuweka screenshot ya wimbo wake ambao alifanya remix ya Manganda Kiwe hii ni wimbo wa DJ Obza na Monaize akaja kufanya remix ambao mpaka sasa una zaidi ya views milioni 20 na huko ndani aliimba kuhusu masuala ya pombe na ni ama piano pia so akaandika hapa Monaize baada ya kuweka hii screenshot kwamba this nigga on my back again tufanye wewe ndio konde boy yaishe 20 million is it you are uncle did this So hapa Harmonize anamwambia kwa sababu Rayvanny kule kwenye majibu yake alisema kwamba Harmonize hana hit song ya pombe. Anamuonyesha hapa hii milioni 20 ni ya mjomba wako. Anamuuliza kwa sababu huu ni wimbo ambao Harmonize aliimba masuala ya pombe na umepata views zaidi ya milioni 20. Kiufupi ni kwamba ni wimbo ambao uli hit ulifanya vizuri. Na anasema kwamba huu jamaa yupo tena kwenye mgongo wangu. Basi tufanye wewe ndio konde boy yaishe hii milioni 20 ni mjomba wako amefanya hivi. Akaendelea hapo. Kwenye sehemu nyingine ameandika Why you hate on me so bad? Kwa nini unanichukia kiasi hiki bro? You made everyone to see my big. Umemfanya kila mtu aone utupu wangu. Nitumie lugha hiyo. Ulitaka nijiue and I'm still here. Usinichukie wenda Mungu ananiweka kwa ajili yako. Uendelee kuwa inspired. Come to my house. I will show you how to make money to pay your label so you can get really out label and stop kissing Asake's ass. Sasa anachokusema hapa ni kwamba anamwambia Rayvanny aende nyumbani kwake atamfundisha jinsi gani ya kutengeneza pesa ili aweze kuilipa lebo. So kwa hiki ambacho anakiandika Harmonize ni kwamba anaamini kwa Rayvanny bado hajamalizana na WCB. So anasema kwamba Rayvanny aende nyumbani kwake atamfundisha jinsi gani ya kuweza kulipa hizo eh, bill ama hiyo bill ya WCB na awe msanii huru na aache ya ametumia neno zito kidogo kissing asakes yani aache kumsujudia asake kwa lugha rahisi naweza nikaisema hivyo asake hapa anamaanisha diamond platinum ambayo hivi karibuni of course eh, baada tu ya ku copy kile kionjo cha asake harmonize naye akaja kumponda kwenye wimbo wake ambao aliutoa mwaka jana akimuita jina hilo hilo la asake au sio ameendelea hapa harmonize akisema fatiga if you still under label don't talk to me i'm so far away from you laughing out loud kwa maana kwamba kama bado uko chini ya lebo usiongee na mimi nimekuzidi sana ama niko mbali zaidi yako. You can even tell me I that big mama you always go for daughter low. Eh, kwa maana kwamba unaweza ukaona hata navo eh, date navo wa date mabig mama wa mama wakubwa lakini wewe siku zote unakwenda kwa mabinti. So hapa anamaanisha kwamba yeye yeah, alikuwa anatoka na Kajala na Rayvanny akaenda eh, kwa Paula. Alafu chini amemalizia kuandika Ibra usimjibu mlevi mpya. Ameendelea sehemu nyingine hapa ameweka sauti hii. Oh man. It's like it's kind of funny but it's just emotional. You know what I mean? It's like there's no way I can fight my little brother. I understand I don't fight back, you know what I'm saying? It's like you can tell how I inspire him, you feel me? Because we don't follow each other by. He's the first one to see everything that I'm posting and it's like I'm just trying to do my promo, you feel me? I'm just trying to promote a song that I'm dropping though. He went straight and feel like I'm trying to attack him. That's not for me. I'm too old for that. Shit. Especially this time I got no energy fighting anybody. 
Like he just shows me how inspired. Feel me? So it's like because when I when I when I when I when I introduced it, my name, the boy from Harmonize, he was the first one to call himself Bunny Boy. I was like, it's good, you understand? You understand? When I opened it, my first studio, he went and opened the studio too. I was like, it's good, you understand? When I tried to go out of Rico Rebo, he wanted to go out of Rico Rebo too, but because he got no money to pay the rebel, you understand? <laughs> I got video, but so it's like it's funny for me, but it's good. But my advice is, I feel you gotta use this time to donate money so you can pay your label, bro. Because if you don't pay this, nigga won't let you go. The f my brother. So don't fight. I'm your brother. One day my verse, you need my verse to save your life, bro. Like, I'm just your brother, and I'll keep inspire you, bro. I love you so much. Fair man. I think you just need a weed in your head so you can calm down a little bit. Why don't you fight your brother? Stop that. So hapa harmonize kama eh, umlivo msikia anasema kwamba yeye na Rayvanny hakuna mtu ambaye anamfollow mwenzake. Lakini siku zote Rayvanny amekuwa ni mtu wa kwanza kuona vile ambavyo harmonize anavipost na kuvijibu. Au sio, yani kiufupi ni kwamba Rayvanny hamfollow harmonize wala harmonize hamfollow Rayvanny. Kwa hiki ambacho anakiongea hapa harmonize. Ila mara zote Rayvanny ndiye ambaye amekuwa anaona vitu ambavyo harmonize anavipost. And then anasema kwamba mimi nilikuwa najaribu tu ku promote wimbo wangu mpya. Nadhani kuna wimbo ambao unatoka hivi karibuni kama si wa Ibra basi ni wa kwake. Lakini huyu jamaa ameona kama mimi namshambulia yeye. Inaonekana kwamba na inspire sana huyu jamaa. So kiufupi ni kwamba yeye eh, anasema alijiandikia tu kwa ajili ya kupromote wimbo wake. Lakini anashangaa kuona Rayvanny namna ambavyo ame react kumjibu wakati yeye hata hakuwa na target naye. So inaonekana kwamba ana inspire kwa mujibu wa maelezo yake. Akaendelea akisema kwamba hata kipindi ambacho alianza kujiita Konde Boy, hapa nadhani anazungumzia wakati ambapo bado yuko WCB. Rayvanny naye akaja kujiita Vani Boy. Na hata kipindi ambacho Harmonize ameondoka eh, WCB kuanzisha lebo yake, Rayvanny naye akafanya vile vile kwa maana ya kuondoka WCB, I mean kutaka kuondoka WCB na kuanzisha record lebo yake. Sasa anasema usipigane na mimi, mimi ni kaka yako. Ipo siku utahitaji verse yangu ili kuokoa maisha yako. Au sio? Kwa maana ya kwamba maybe ashiriki kwenye wimbo wake na vitu vingine. So, amemalizia hapo akisema kwamba yeye hana muda yani hivyo ni vitu ambavyo sasa hivi e, hawezi kuvipatia energy kufight ama kupambana na Rayvanny au sio sasa wakati huu huu harmonize amemaliza tu kushare Rayvanny naye amekwenda kwenye page yake ya Instagram kuandika mambo mengine sehemu ya kwanza ameandika speaking about pombe yangu the biggest song about pombe i was on that song wakati wewe unauza mitumba mimi nilikuwa studio MJ inafanya hiyo ngoma mandakiwe That's not your song akamtusi hapa. Shukuru wa South. Ameendelea sehemu nyingine amesema speaking about songs. Paranawe verse nzima uloimba nimeandika mimi plus your song birthday I gave you like 90% of my creation. Ulikuwa mwanangu sana ila siku ulokuwa unakesha polisi hadi ukapost Insta lengo ni fungwe miaka 30 na ukuishia hapo. Ulitoa hadi machozi siku kajala akakubali tuyamalize ulikuwa unapiga simu hadi kwa mawakili kesi endelee fasta nikaona wewe ni akamtusi tena hapa nilikufuta kwenye listi ya wanangu you are a freaking devil na una roho mbaya kama ulikuwa hujui alafu hiyo video yako ya kibami akili yako yote you put blame on me mzee uliza watu wako ulowatumia sina muda wa kuangaika na wewe mzee sina roho kama yako god is my witness sijawahi ku na video yako hata siku moja ameendelea sehemu nyingine hapa anasema you paid wasafi 600 million umelia kwenye media zote mzee in case you don't know i paid 1.3 billion ukiisi naongeza sifuri fuatilia na nenda basata ukaulize na umeona nimeongea wapi? Man is nothing to me. Kikubwa heshima ndio kitu ninachokithamini. Ukiona siku nimeongea ujue nimekosewa. Heshima to the maximum. So anasema kwamba yeye harmonize lilipa milioni sita kuondoka WCB. Rayvanny amelipa bilioni moja na milioni tatu ila hajaongea sehemu yoyote. Ameendelea sehemu nyingine anasema, "Let me be honest with you. You are not on my level musically, economically." Kwa maana kwamba niwe tu muwazi kwako. Haupo katika levo yangu kimuziki wala kiuchumi. 
Yaani sio tuzo, sio hits, sio numbers, sio global recognition, sio chochote. Uamini kafuatilie ndio utajua kuwa I'm your freaking brother. Diamond unayemsema ndio mtu anakufanya hadi leo upo sababu njia rahisi uliona utamaintain ni kumtukana. I'm too old for that. Una post nyumba ya kupanga range za mchongo. Sasa come to my own crib ambayo ambayo ni yangu nikufundishe jinsi ya kutengeneza pesa na kumiliki mijengo sio nyumba isiyo isha ya sara. Unaona so kwa maana hiyo ni kwamba Rayvanna anazungumzia nyumba ambayo Harmonize aliposti mwaka jana nafikiri ile gorofa eh kwamba ni la sara na bado alijaisha of course. Ameendelea sehemu nyingine anasema label sio ametumia neno zito nitarahisisha sio makalio hivi ofisi zenu ziko wapi stop being on jembes bro he own that freaking label and you in general so anasema kwamba acha kuwa chini ya jembe ni rahisisha hivyo kwa maana jembe ni jembe kwa sababu yeye ndiye ambaye anamiliki hiyo lebo hata wewe pia anakumiliki. Wenzako wanakula mipepe na wanajitambua wewe una kichwa yai umeanza kuvuta ukubwani huwezi ganja ndio maana na kusamehe bure stupid fish ameendelea sehemu nyingine anasema bangi mbili unajiona Tupac kaa mbali na chui akaweka na emoji za kucheka nyingi sana hapa so ni majibu haya Rayvanny of course sitaweza kukuwekea hizi screenshot hapa kwa sababu ya namna ambavyo wameandika kuna matusi mengi sana humo ndani so kama unataka kuziona Maybe kama utaziwahi hazitafutwa zipo kwenye page zao huko za Instagram. Nenda kwa Harmonize, nenda kwa Rayvanny ila hapa sitaziweka kwa sababu ya namna ambavyo wameziandika. Nimerahisisha hapa kuna matusi mengi sana yameandikwa huko ndani. Kila mtu akijaribu ku eh, mtupia mwenzake maneno. Rayvanny mwanzoni anasema kwamba yeye ndiye ambaye eh, unafahamu ule wimbo ambao wali I mean Harmonize alimshirikisha Rayvanny para nawe. Anasema asilimia kubwa ya verse ya Harmonize yeye ndiye ambaye aliandika. Lakini pia kwenye wimbo wa birthday wa Harmonize Rayvanny anasema Harmonize ametumia ubunifu wake kwa asilimia tisini. Kiufupi ni kwamba alimpa huo ubunifu kwa mujibu wa maelezo haya ya Rayvanny. Lakini pia amegusia masuala haya ya labo, kuondoka WSB na vitu vingine vingi sana. Well, it's about to go down. That's all I can say. Hakuna siku tulitegemea kama wawili hawa watarudi tena kwenye hii vita kubwa ya kurushiana maneno huko mtandaoni. But finally, here we are. Na unaona kile ambacho kinatokea kule. Let's wait and see. Agiza popcorn, vuta kiti kaa kwa sababu it's about to go down. Una mtazamo gani hapa kwenye sehemu ya comments? Lakini pia nikukumbushe usubscribe hapa SNS kwa taarifa nyingine kila wakati.